Hi guys, the German here again and welcome to Building Something New. Uh, and this is the uh, end of the season review. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, the season ha have ended and uh, let's look about the table. Uh, take the full table stages. So yeah, uh, why doesn't it show those Champions League and Europa League qualifications? Nah. What? The? Well, anyhow, uh, Chelsea won the league and uh, City were second, three points behind. Um, the championship, uh, championship uh, really. And, uh, saw that in the last game, like you see, um, City draw 2-2 against Tottenham and Ch uh, Chelsea. Chelsea drew also, so the ma uh, they maintained that three-point cap. Uh, Liverpool was third, also uh, as same points as Arsenal in fourth, and like you see, one point behind them, Man United got, got that Europa League spot. Uh, uh, Stoke got 6th place, uh, 2 points ahead of us, and we were 7th. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it didn't. Uh, we didn't uh, qualify for the Europa League because um, Tottenham uh, managed to win the Europa League this season, so they are qualifying uh, that competition ne uh, next year and also, um, if we look here, Skypad Championship um, League table, uh, where it is, stages, holy moly, um, it didn't show, but uh, Middlesbrough, we could look it, we could look it here, um, Capital One Cup, Middlesbrough won, so they are in Europa League also. Um, so yeah, uh, we could uh, let's let's look up a little bit those stats. Mario Palatelli was the um, top goal scorer with 28 goals. Um, Falcao was second, 26. Diego Costa 24, and Robin Van Robin Van Persie scored 21 goals. Also. In that average rating, Palatelli was best, um, trailing with Rafael and Mohamed Diouf. Eden Hazard created most goals, 18 assists, uh, Rafael 15. Yamolenko with 9, as did our Steven Davies. Uh, most uh, player of the match awards goes to Eden Hazard with 8, also Falcao got 8 awards. Uh, Tim Howard keep. 16 clean sheet, Asmir Begovic 15 and Fraser Forster with 13. Uh, pretty decent season with Fe uh, Forster in our goal. If we look, can I see it here? Uh, what happened in no um, Champions League? Uh, 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 competition there. Uh, UEFA Champions League. Um, history. Where? Damn it. Uh, rules, no rules. Uh, stages. Uh, previous season. So, final. Real Madrid versus Barcelona and uh, Madrid won one nil that game. If we look about a little further behind in first knockout round, uh, uh, Barcelona beat in semi semi-finals Man City and Real Madrid beat Bayern Munich. Um, also Liverpool got quarter-finals in those English teams and Arsenal lost in first knockout round to Schalke 6-4. Um, 
Yeah, uh, we could look our players' stats and stuff look, uh, overall. Uh, it seems that average for average rating, our best player was Ryan Bertrand with 7.21. Um, he he played decent season for that left back uh, role and. We could possibly uh, possibly sign him where the, it uh, here um, in that loan option is future fee for 12.5 million. Uh, I think it's too much for guy uh, um, guy like Ryan Bertrand, so I'm not gonna buy him. Um, then there is a uh, Florin Gardo. Uh, honestly, at the beginning of the season I think uh, thinking of selling him but actually I'm glad that I keep kept him he's one of our best players <laughs> at the season uh, this season and played when uh, all of the uh, league games uh, uh, not all of them 27 in starting and one uh, sub uh, 7.19 average rating and Three goals, uh, five player of the match, really good, uh, solid season. Like the uh, James Ward Prowse, um, eighteen, le uh, twenty-three league games, but only eight, uh, four assists, uh, seven point oh six average rating. He had good season, and therefore I offered him a new contract, and yeah. Now he's happy to stay in the squad. Uh, then we have uh, that Nathaniel Klein who caused some problems. Uh, he wanted to join Tottenham, uh, and um, I don't know. He's confusing me a little bit because uh, because in happiness, the positive is there's uh, he says that he's enjoying playing for the club, but. Um, in negatives, unhappy with the um, um, minor issue, is disappointed to not able to be join, joining in Tottenham. So uh, I'm a bit confused. That are uh, would he like to leave at uh, from the club or staying? So I don't know. But uh, he played really well. Uh, 29 games, four assists, um, 7.13 average rating is really good. Uh, Shane Long was was our best striker with six, 16 goals like uh, like Graziano Pelle also got 16 goals <laughs> but um yeah they they got actually the same amount of games and uh same stats so pretty pretty good for both uh, both uh, both of the guys i expect uh, a bit more with Graziano's but but of course, first season in Premier League, I think he will be better next. Um, then we have Stephen Davies with those 10 assists. Um, he's funny guy, though, that, that it's funny. Um, I even didn't even think that he's that good. If we look, his attributes, they are actually quite good. And he's only 30 years old, so um, there's still a couple of seasons to left him to play in the cup where the, um, his contract expires in 2018 so three season uh, contract ye uh, left um, then there is Morgan Schneiderlin um, I didn't think he he he's played uh, particularly good this season. He's one of our best players, though. Um, uh, I I am thinking to sell him. Um, that uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, probably gonna sell him. Minor issue he had also wants to join Porto as they play in Champions League, but yet again. Uh, um yet again I don't know uh, it's interesting to see if somebody is offering 
money for him. So yeah, I uh, got decent season, nothing special. Uh, then there is this guy, Eder Alvarez Palanta. Um, bought him for what was it? Um, yeah, 8.75 million euros and. Yeah, he had a good season though. Uh, get uh, got a couple of injuries and a couple of bad games. Uh, still, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, he was one of our best central defenders and will be one of the best in the league. Uh, I really liked him and next season probably gonna play much more. Uh, then there is Gregory Van der Wiel, who I bought also. Got decent season, nothing special, gonna keep him. Um, Bilal Olchik, um, I probably should have loaned him out to get game time, only six appearances. Um, maybe ru uh, ruining him a little bit, but uh, still really good, talented guy, with only 17 years old. Maybe next season I'm loaning him out. Um, then there is Emmanuel Mas, who I signed, really good solid season for him also uh, gonna keep him of course uh, then there is Toby Alderweider um, he had also that future fee 10.6 uh, 10.56 million uh, and I think it's too much for him um, and I'm I'm not really sure uh, should I buy him or not? Probably I'm not gonna. Uh, we have, uh, we still got Jose Font, um, uh, Cardo, Balanta, and who was the one more um, central defender we had. Um, so anyhow, uh, I'm probably not gonna sign him. Then we have one Yama. I didn't play good this season and he's one of those guys I think I'm gonna sell um, he's also also yeah happy for playing the club, uh, club but still has those negative issues and yeah hopefully I'm, I could sell him sell him somebody <laughs> Is there a team interesting? Yes, there is. Roma is interesting to him, and uh, my asking price is 29 million at the moment. Let's see if if Roma is gonna offer some money for him. Hopefully, it does. Uh, then we have Saida Mane. Uh, this guy I'm gonna sell also, as he is very good, good with his technical attributes, but. I I have the Savicki on the on team. He managed to get that work perm permit solved, so he's gonna take that left flank flank uh, in his area. So Mane is is one too many, if you know what I mean, because we have Jay Rodriguez and uh, Dusan Tadic also there. So I don't need really need Mane. <laughs> Yeah, and Tadic got six goals and seven assists. Uh, really good first season in. <coughs> sorry, uh, really good first season in Premier League. Uh, not shown uh, quite a much of improvement with his uh, attributes, but um, still 26 years old. Probably gonna keep him for next season, and uh, if he doesn't show. Uh, improve, improvement. I'm probably gonna sell him. Um, what else? Then there is Emerkan and Fabiano. They are only loanees. Not gonna um, approach to them, and there is no future fees. Fees for them, so not gonna uh, bother for those. Uh, if we look at squad step, um, I need a second goalie. And probably gonna snap one. I have a couple of in mind, so uh, one player is coming on there. And if and when I'm gonna sell one Yama, I need one uh, defensive midfielder 
also because we only had Schneiderlin there, uh, one player there, and of course because Bertrand and uh, Alderweider are leaving one of one player with those positions also, and probably one AMC. Uh, Davis have played good on that position. Uh, that is, I have used mostly on left flank, but uh, probably uh, it's nice to see him if I start starting to play him with that attacking midfield position more. Uh, what else we could look? Uh, look a bit our finances. Uh, we were quite down on the bottom there, but um, like you see, we are making a loss of two million in se every month. Last season, we <laughs> uh, or this season, we made a, a loss almost twenty million, uh, forty million. Sorry. So yeah, we managed to get a decent uh, transfer budget for this season. 35 million, almost 36, so that is uh, gonna help us to bring some players, players also in club. Um, so what would uh, will be my target l next season? Of course I wanna uh, that continental competition, uh, competition so uh, that Europa League spot is what we are um, after for next season also so um yeah what else um of course um west from and crystal palace and burnley got relegated so nice to see leicester staying up with those uh, newly promoted teams in last season and uh what about that um let's go here and look that uh championship um in championship playoff final, Huddersfield uh, get that promotion spot, uh, and also Norwich and Wigan are coming up up to the um, Premier League. Blackpool, Reading, and Brentford got relegated. Uh, then League Two: uh, Preston, Sheffield United, and Bristol City got promoted. Leighton Orient, Gillingham, Chesterfield and Crawley um, got relegated and League 2 uh, Tranmere, Portsmouth, Shrewsbury and Cheltenham got promoted and Newport County and Accrington relegated to the uh, Vanarama Conference which I'm not uh, loaded in the Forest Green won and Grimsby Grimsby uh, was second and Kidderminster third place and and um, Forest Green and Grimsby got promoted so yeah uh, that was the episode of today hopefully you uh, <laughs> hopefully you understand what I I, I said and yeah um, if you want to see more, if you have any questions, leave a comment and uh, hit that like button. And yeah, um, thank you for watching, and we we'll see you next season. Bye.